welcome back to another YouTube video. It's early Tuesday morning and I'm headed to the office, but I usually wake up around five and I leave the house around 5.45. And so I have a good 45 minutes to light some candles, drink my coffee. Tim and I usually plan the day, plan the week. We talk, we uh, just hang out before I head out to you know work. And it's just a peaceful and quiet morning between the both of us. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new here, please like and subscribe the video so you can stay up to date with all the really random videos that I post about all sorts of topics. And so, as you can see, I just arrived to the office. It's 6 ish a.m., like 6 20 a.m., left my house around 5 40 ish to beat traffic and it's a nice day as you can tell. And uh, yeah, wanted to do a quick kind of day in my life. Um, a lot of people like these kind of content videos and so hope you enjoy it. I have a 45 minute commute to the office and that's why I leave at the crack of dawn super early because I hate being stuck in traffic. I do leave before the traffic gets bad in the afternoon. And so this is kind of a day in the life of um, very random, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And so as you can see, I get ready once I get to the office. I do my makeup, brush my hair, etc. Because as you saw, I leave super, super early. And so basically the point of this video today is I want to talk a little bit about what does an internal communication manager do. This is pretty um, standard in most companies. Um, there is some sort of communications person. And I didn't really know what they did before this role. And so it's really interesting and it's a really great career path that you can take that I really didn't know about. And so communications world is extremely needed, but it kind of usually kind of gets forgotten. Um, and so it's really cool to be able to kind of bring this to life, but it's how you get messages throughout the organization from the top down in a way of what's happening at the headquarters, what's the vision or strategy of the company, what are some of the key highlights that we should all be focusing on? And it's just a way to get messages and visions and goals across to every single employee in that organization or in that division or you know whatever group that you are doing communications for. And so it's really cool because you get all of these initiatives that you can drive yourself on um, doing videos, employee kind of spotlights, um, strategy workshops where you can kind of um, explain some of the strategies that are happening at the HQ level and kind of getting different people involved within the organization. Um, we're going to do a podcast. I mean, there's so many cool things that you could be very clever with. And at the end of the day, what you want is to create kind of that engagement and that community feel. But at the end of the day, deliver the right message to the organization of what the leadership team wants. And so it's been a huge learning curve to just kind of get the behind the scenes of what somebody in communications does. I love the job so far. Um, I could really feel like I can create an impact and bring my ideas to life. And so I've been so happy with this new role. Um, and yeah, I think what's interesting too is you just get to see the organization from a different point of view and you are so involved in so many of the businesses. So that was fun. Here, I was headed Super back home easy. after a long just day. Couldn't record all the in-person meetings that I had just for privacy reasons and to not have other people in my video. And that's it. Um, as you know, I have a Tesla. I love my car. Had to charge it on the way yeah. back to the office. And I actually met up with Tim halfway to the gym. So I didn't go home. I went straight to the gym. I was exhausted because, as you know, I was up at you know 5 a.m. But had to get my workout out of the way before I got home. Because once I get home, it's just, it's game over. And so it was nice that Tim met me there. He did his workout um, in the afternoon to kind of do it with me since I, we usually work out together in the morning. And so, yeah, that's pretty much an entire day. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest. It's kind of just my after work hours and a little bit of kind of what Tim and I do. We usually meet up at the gym on the days that I do go to the office. And then if not, we work out in the morning at our home gym. And so, yeah, we'll leave you with the video. What's up? It's my YouTube. Say hello. Hey, he's, still, he's still here. We're still married. 
We made it. We made it. the workout with Tim he's on his way um, long day as you could tell from the office I left at 5:45, got in at 6 30 so I'm exhausted but I have to get my workout in so no excuses <sighs> what are we gonna do for dinner this is Tim's beautiful brand new car the Audi Q8 2023. I love the color. I love the kind of black on black tires. And super proud of him. Yeah. This is like, I think the first time we actually ever get a nice car. This is our little gym in Tomball. We love it. It's usually not super busy. Yeah. It's a beautiful day today. Here comes my boy. After all these years, I still think he's super hot. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode. Oh, you're a natural now after 10 years. Where were we? We know where we're going now. We're gonna go pick up a painting, actually, that we got made. So, I don't know what we're covering in this a random car Q&A, but I think we've learned a lot of lessons over the last, would you say, like year? Have we learned a lot of lessons? We've learned a lot of lessons over the last few years. Probably like last two years in particular, especially when we were in Mexico. A lot of realizations. A lot of realizations, yeah. Yeah. So you want to chime in? Expand on that? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's probably something that a lot of people go through when like they're entering their mid-30s. Like you realize that you like you, short. you realize your mortality. Yeah. You know, you, you always everyone knows that everyone is going to die eventually, but like you don't think about it in your teens or twenties. You think that you're gonna live forever, but like at, at our age, it's like I would say most people aren't thinking about mortality at in our at our age group in their thirties. No. No, I think we're kind of the odd people out. I don't think most people in their thirties are thinking like life is short. Well, we're thinking about it. We are, yeah. And so it also makes us, you know, think about, you know, what do we want to do? What matters in life? Yeah. What are those things that we want to spend the rest of our precious time doing? Um, we've realized that we're, to our point kind of earlier, like we're very simple people. We like the same things. We don't need, we don't require a lot to make us happy. And I think that's, that's a good thing. And we're also realizing that... I guess a lot of the things that we'd like to achieve are very close. Sometimes you always think that they're so far away and they're not. And I think we hit a lot of our curiosity and our adventure with our businesses. But when it comes to like our personal life, it's like pretty, like we keep it pretty simple. And I think we like it like that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's re it's really like what makes us happy is like ordering pizza and not even ordering making it at home now like, we're on this, this we're on this kind of like frozen pizza kick yeah um like i would pick that with like making a steak at home with sky and like watching a movie by the fireplace over like a five-star restaurant that's just me yeah you're like, a little fancier but i think you still rather like that home life like now we're getting into chess the last couple of months we've been playing yeah quite a bit of chess um just like really basic simple things they probably sound boring but <laughs> yeah mind you if you were to like if you were to record most people's day-to-day -day lives it's probably boring yeah. a lot of what we do is like yeah there's a lot of like waiting around there's a lot of like you know nothingness um but i don't know i enjoy it i love our life i love our life. we enjoy the little things in life which i think yeah. is great that we recognize that like a good day for us is basically what we do every day which is like a great workout a good meal together cooking something hanging out with our daughter going to the park you know that's like literally going heaven. for a walk yeah. you know like 
baking frozen pizza in our it's kind of nice. like we're so happy for that and of course there's a few like fun trips we love traveling so having those few kind of trips throughout the year but we're very big homebodies if we had to kind of put it together yeah. we're super happy to be back to houston um tim more than me uh as he wants to escape mexico asap yes yeah um but I don't blame him. Uh, it was a very difficult year and a half for the family. Wait I would say the second. entire family. I feel like you wanted to escape at sometimes more than me, if we're being honest here. I would say a lot of it had to do with how unhappy I was with our house. I didn't feel like it was our home and it was hard to just live there, you know? Cause I was happy for the last year in terms of like what I was doing, um, made a good group of friends and like, of course, I wanted to come back to Houston, but I think for me, the worst part about Mexico was just the house that we were living in didn't feel like home. I absolutely hated that house. And I, I'm somebody that like, I like to decorate my house. I like to clean. I like to like stage it for different seasons and like things like that. And in Vija, I just wanted to like <laughs> destroy that house. <laughs> yeah. Probably but, the same for me. Yeah. We weren't, we, it was not a home for us. It was not, we couldn't wait to just get out of there. I can't believe it was a year and a half. Yeah. Actually, that was something that we were talking about a few days ago was that sometimes I feel like your brain erases things because we were there for a year and a half. And when I think about it, it feels like Mexico never even happened. Like, it just feels like a lot. We were there two months ago. We try ago. to forget it. We suppress. Maybe that's what's happening. But we were there two months ago. And it's almost like I don't remember that time being in Mexico. It's almost like my brain erased <laughs> erased it or something but we also came back to the same spot that we like we came back to houston which is where we left yeah so it was it felt like we were coming back home so yeah, yeah. anyways we'll see what we're gonna do for dinner tonight this is just a random day in the day in the life we do? We do steak and we should do pasta. steak and pasta steak if pasta. it's not steak and pizza we'll do steak and pasta we just turn switch it we did it at the same time. So Tim hasn't changed. He's always looking for snacks and no, I'm, food. I'm going to get, they have some bananas, some fresh bananas, and a couple apples. And a couple apples. All right. Let's see what he's going to bring back. Oh. Grocery marketplace. We also stopped in right beside where we picked up the painting and got some candies. Some sour candies because why not and yeah and he wants some snacks i don't know what he's gonna get but we'll see what did you get I'm gonna put the bananas and apples back here what did you get uh a couple fruits very nice seriously i'm sure it's all trash what i'm sure it's all terrible shit no no, I just want to get some, uh, some vitamins. <laughs> Our home. Our favorite, favorite place. I didn't open it. Oh. So I'm, I'm usually worried about that. What did you get? I got uh, athletic greens. What is this? It's just like a like all of your micronutrients, vitamins, minerals in one shake. Um, and then I got D3 and K2 vitamin for the year. And, yeah, and this is like a couple of like uh, travel packs. So I'm gonna try this one out. I haven't tried these before. Um, yeah. Nice.